Hi everybody, it's Lisa and Nicole and <laughs> it's Wake Up Wednesdays. It's time to wake up, Nicole. What do you think? It's time to wake up. Wake Up Wednesdays where we learn to stay awake in our waking dream, bringing our unconscious patterns to our conscious reality so that we can show up in the best ways possible. Yeah. And so, yeah, all that. <laughs> all <of> that. <laughs> um, so today we are going to actually dive into the realm of joy and happiness. Some of these high vibrational um, emotions that a lot of people feel around the holidays and sometimes don't feel around the holidays. Yeah, it's a good one. So, yeah. And what kind of opened it up was yeah. I was sharing with Nicole how a year and a half ago when I was working at hospice, I would do these I rest yoga nidras. Um, for they have a they had a particular house where people that were in transition um, would would be there and their families would be there and so I'd be offering this to the staff as well as uh, any family members and I remember this woman came up to me afterwards because there's a um, connection to the experience of joy yes. in that particular iris yeah and she said to me you really made me like think like I can't remember the last time I felt joy it was like so long ago because mm -hmm. you know it, somewhere in the meditation it says think about a memory or a time right yeah right joy comes up a lot in the I rest practice so yeah. I, I know that the that word joy is constantly being interwoven in that practice so that would certainly ignite that thought of like well when is the last time I felt joy and I think around this time of year I think we're all kind of being asked that or feeling especially right now obviously with everything going on in the world not just around the holidays but just on top of the holidays everything that's going on we're wondering yeah when was the last time I actually felt true joy and so the cool thing about um us as human beings is when we're awake and when we're conscious <laughs> we can actually focus our attention and we can simply even drop into a memory of when we had joy and we can actually start to feel joy and reacquaint ourselves to the to, to what it feels like but what we wanted to talk about today yeah I think first bringing into hmm. the awareness of what is robbing our joy like right who is robbing what part of our being is robbing our joy or taking our joy away from us yeah. I mean that part of us certainly needs attention right yes. but it's that part of us that is robbing us and we're unconscious of it because it's that inner little gremlin that we're not really willing to face right yeah so how it showed up it actually showed up for me so nicole and i you know this we've known each other for a while <laughs> this isn't a new relationship and um it's nicole, actually maybe eons long <laughs> right well lifetimes but this this one right here is like the holiday I love it it's everything about Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas and decorating yeah and, for sure Christmas know, and then like her mom can we just give yeah. your mom a plug here well I come from a family that really um, celebrates Christmas in a very big way it's an Italian New York Christmas style family and so we just we go all out our, our Christmas is on our Christmas our Christmas lights are on the news every year and you know it's just kind of a big deal so it was huge i saw her mom like on the news i'm like nicole you're at the house it was on the news she's like yeah i mean we would do it every for year <laughs> she's like oh okay <laughs> yeah so anyway um so she's always been that and how would you describe me around the holidays nicole um i want to say like grinch like like, you just kind of go into your shell and you're like, Bleh, I don't want to. I don't want to play. I don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. It's like this little, as you called him or her, the inner Scrooge and not really wanting to participate in all the festivities for whatever reason. Not really sure. We don't know where yeah. it's coming from. Right. And we don't need to like overanalyze it. But I recently had an experience where... Um, this man I absolutely love that's come into our family recently mm. uh, really loves around the holidays to go to the mall. And he loves the lights and the trees and the people, you know. And he, and I 
don't like to do that. Like, in <laughs> fact, um, yeah, so it took everything in me to, to do, to go and check it out. And um, it was just, I really witnessed my inner Scrooge. Mm -hmm. Like, I witnessed, and what, what brought the illumination of it forward yeah. was his joy and excitement. And I was like, mm -hmm. why would I not allow that in? Like, why, why am I sitting here just kind of like this? Like, <laughs> I'm going to go, but I'm just going for him. Yeah, right, you know, right. Kind of a thing. I'm and being a good human by doing this for someone else. And that's the only reason why I'm going, so. Ha! <laughs> but here was, like, the thing about that. So I've been doing these, um, I, I partner with Access Elite, and I do these, um, like, presentations every week, and... We're going into a new year, new energy. So, of course, I've been talking about goal creating. Mm. And the first session of this four-session series was all about the law of attraction. And the law uh, of manifestation. Yeah. Right? right. And so, a lot of what I talk about when I talk about that is how our emotions... Um, are so linked to things that have happened in yeah. our past, right? Mm -hmm. So clearly, there's probably something in the past. Yeah. Um, and then what? And then we feel these feelings, and we're putting that out there like a magnet. Mm -hmm. And really, what we're doing is we're taking our past and we're throwing it into our future. Yeah. And then we're feeling well, into that. Yeah. And then yeah. we're cr actually creating that, and more of that. Well, we believe that whatever is happening in that moment is in, is happening in that present moment, meaning oh, I'm getting triggered because of this very moment, but it's not. You're getting triggered from something way back in the past, and it's unconscious, right? So this is where we start to bring the unconscious into our conscious reality. Why am I actually being triggered? Oh, because this feeling brings up this from the past. And so you're right. So that inner Scrooge in you, something is coming from the past, and that's why you're bringing it into, into yeah. this present moment. And then from that, from, if we're talking about law of attraction... When you're bringing that into the present, you're emanating unconsciously. Even though you have a conscious intention, you're emanating unconsciously the inner Scrooge or whatever it is, that is being projected into the future unconsciously. 100%. Yeah. So what was cool about being able to notice it in that moment, and really what helped was that I was talking about it. Here I am talking about it. And how do we turn that on? The law of attraction. And then I was able to catch it. Mm, what so, a beautiful catch. In the moment, I was able to like just allow myself to have a different experience. And maybe allow myself to enjoy the lights. And to enjoy the people. Yeah. And you know it's what else? It's fun, Lisa. <laughs> I really enjoyed were the discounts. <laughs> that are at That's the mall awesome. right now. Like I'm not a mall shopper at all. Same. In fact, I made a bunch of um, Christmas gifts this year, but they're almost paying you to take things out of the store. It's kind yeah. of sad, actually. Yeah. Um, but, and. And also. And also, that's the way to save some dime this year. <laughs> so there's some joy in that, in going <laughs> to the mall and saving some pennies. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's, I really love how you tied in the, the unconscious law of attraction, really, right? Because that's a huge part in why we can't create what we want to create or manifest what we want to manifest because we're unconsciously unconsciously emanating something different than what we consciously want. And so the question well, is... Well, actually, you... hold on. It's not... No, we don't want to just focus on what we want. Mm -hmm. how we we want actually to have to focus on it already being here right now. Yeah. And so that was a really... Because I was doing the research, mm -hmm. and I just was like, oh my gosh, like there's so many ways that I've done this recipe over the years. Yeah, same wrong. one over and over, yeah. <laughs> wrong, uh -huh. done it wrong, because I keep focusing on what I want and the gap mm -hmm. rather than actually embodying it. Anyway, okay. it was just this big, yeah. like, aha. Uh -huh. Right, 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 but I think the, the biggest thing here is becoming conscious of your inner Scrooge, becoming conscious right. of that that little gremlin inside that is emanating something different than what you're trying to embody or what your desire is to embody. And I totally, actually, the, the last piece of that story, so we came home that night, and I don't even think I told you this. I never even watch TV, but I have this TV now mm. because um, of whatever. I have a TV. <laughs> the one station, okay, the only one I could really, like, tolerate was Christmas uh, movies. 
And it was like the Grinch. You watched Christmas movies? Yeah. We wow. did. We can watch them together. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Did you love the Grinch? So the Grinch, I, I actually, <laughs> like seriously, I felt like the Grinch that night and I cried Aww. a little bit. I did. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what inspired this whole thing because it made me realize like unconsciously where I'm probably really limiting mm. My ability to feel and to feel joy and to and just allowing, like giving myself permission for whatever reason. I don't need to analyze the why. But right. um Yeah, I don't I don't know that that's so important. No. But, but it's just be it's really the awareness that's important. Because yeah. then you can tend to that part of your being and then you could know that okay, this might be why I'm attracting X, Y, and Z into my life. You know? Yeah. So I guess a little bit of the why, but not in the context that you're saying. Yeah, so um, we wanted to really bring it forward and also encourage you to maybe ask yourself, like, where are you limiting unconsciously? Where are you limiting joy, right? Limiting joy. Yeah. Joy, happiness, um, excitement. These are, I think, emotions that when we were younger, it was really a lot easier to connect to these things. Like, yeah. When we think um, around, I don't know, everyone's experience is different, but, you know, we weren't religious. Like, we didn't celebrate Christmas growing up because it was this um, very different, right? I yeah. come from a different kind of family. But we did celebrate. Yeah. And there was joy. And I do remember being excited about getting up Something, and going yeah. to the tree yeah. and just the tradition and the ritual and the connection of it yeah. all um, and the spirit of it all. Mm -hmm. And somewhere, though, along the line, and we've even talked about this, I lost a connection to that spirit. The Christmas spirit. Yeah, the yeah. Christmas spirit, yeah. the, ho mm -hmm. um, the Halloween spirit, yeah. the Thanksgiving spirit. Yeah, so the question is, where are you, where are you limiting yourself or where are we limiting, our, limiting ourselves around joy in different areas of our life, around celebration, around holidays, around relationships around our health around our body so if we think about all those different arenas in our life in what way are we robbing ourselves of our own joy and and the next question would be are you willing to meet the unconscious inner scrooge so that you can become more aware of how and why this little part of you is robbing us of you of your joy and I don't want to, like, for me, it felt like a really big part of me in that moment. And mm -hmm. I think that's what happens sometimes. We get triggered mm -hmm. and our emotions get triggered. Mm -hmm. And um, so for, in that moment I was sharing with you earlier, I was actually, I was aware of it now, right? I'm like, oh, here's this thing that I didn't know existed. Call it the inner Scrooge, the Grinch, whatever. But I couldn't let it go. Yeah. Like, I was super aware and I was super... Like, it felt super sticky, you yeah. know? Well, it's, you know, just because you become aware of it doesn't mean it's just going to go in that moment. You know what I mean? It's right. been so ingrained in your being. So it's, you know, it, 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 it lives in you. It's a part of you. Right. But you know what's interesting, like, as we're talking about it, I also feel a lot of space around it mm -hmm. because I've been through this process of naming it, Noticing so it, say. dancing with it yeah. in a way. And so now there's like... Um, well, there's more acceptance of it. Yeah, it's okay. It's It it had, it got its chance to say and do what yeah. it needed to. And, and now there's actually space. Yeah. There's a space. Well, ultimately, right, it needs to be expressed in some way or the other. And when it can be expressed, there can be more spaciousness around it, more acceptance, more love, more, yeah. more tenderness, I think, around those parts of ourselves that... Ultimately, are, are parts of our shadows, right? Yeah. Inner Scrooge, the shadow. Yeah, so we hope that this might have brought forward just a curiosity inside of you of like, when was the last time I felt joy? Hopefully, yeah. it was just this morning, mm -hmm. right? Like, or just before you came on or, or you're feeling it right now. Um, but if, it, if it's something that maybe feels distant, happiness, excitement, joy, hope, Maybe it's something that um, unconsciously has been kind of pushed away. 
yeah. where it's it's you're limited in your ability to work with those positive emotions and yeah. how can you create the space to let the joy back in? Well, I guess we're right on time. Yeah, right on time. Yeah. Well, we hope, yes, that this was helpful for you. And I think we'd like to leave it with, yeah, just pondering those questions and really noticing in the moments that you're losing that sense of joy. Not to say that it's not okay, right? Because we, we do want to feel the whole spectrum of emotions, but just noticing when that's happening. We were talking before this, like for me, I notice that I, I lose my joy when I'm in a... a, a a situation where I'm feeling threatened or not safe and so I immediately Lisa called me the porcupine is that it yeah the porcupine the porcupine and so you know a guard goes up you can't really come near me I don't even want to be near myself right and so I I'm no longer in a place of joy I'm, I'm in a place of angst and it just feels hardness and like prickly. rigidity it just and feels prickly <laughs> right and so but it's just becoming becoming consciously aware of when that's happening because when we can start to build these relationships with the different parts of our being, um, I think it's just a really empowering way to live our lives. Well, the other reason why it's empowering, and we always talk about this, hi Kylie, mm -hmm. is because in those moments we get triggered mm -hmm. and the limbic part of our brain takes over and that's where the emotions are that feel so strong. Mm -hmm. And we're not conscious, we're not thinking. so. That is our signal. That is the SOS. That yeah. is the, that is the you yes. know, smoking flame. Like, like thousand percent. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So yes. with that said, we hope you have a very happy holiday, however you spend your holiday. We hope you celebrate it with so much joy. Yeah. You can really tap into that part of you that wants to express and receive and offer joy. And it's contagious, so when you or whoever you're spending holidays with or however it's being spent, bringing that energy with you into the space gives it away to others also. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, happy Hanukkah, happy all of the things, sending you so much love. We'll see you in two weeks. Have an awesome day.